Good afternoon, conference. Um, hope you're all well and not too sleepy after dinner. Uh, so before you do fall asleep at the thought of another politician banging on about how the other parties are getting it wrong on the NHS, I want to talk to you about something that the other parties won't mention, something they would actually prefer you didn't know about, something that will change the very reason the NHS exists and will forever stop the British NHS being able to put patients first. I want to tell you about the TTIP, Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership. Now, you may be wondering what on earth has transatlantic trade got to do with our NHS? And of course, you'd be right to hope the answer is absolutely nothing. But sadly and dangerously, that is exactly what the EU wants our NHS to be about. Europhiles like to make out that UKIP would blame every problem in the UK on our membership of the EU. Well, they can't use the lame allegation to wriggle out of this one. Recently, top European law QC, Michael Bauscher, confirmed that the TTIP is a real and serious risk to the future UK government's decision-making regarding the NHS. So it's not just UKIP saying TTIP has to be blocked to save our NHS. It's the trade unions, health workers, NHS managers, Eurosceptic politicians from across the political spectrum and many thousands of British people that have signed anti-TTIP petitions. But surprise, surprise, ladies and gentlemen, the EU commissioners are not listening. They are pushing ahead with it anyway. And if they get their way, TTIP will see the NHS change from being about public health to being about private wealth. It will, it will turn our NHS into a means for American companies to make vast profits out of people's illnesses and vulnerabilities, and it will give those corporations huge influence into how health services in the UK are run. Now, that goes against everything I believe the NHS should be about. I, no doubt you, and everyone that relies on it, believes that the NHS should always be about TLC and never about PLC. It should be, ladies and gentlemen, it has to be about public need and not private greed. Now, now we already have some private companies involved in providing services for the NHS. It's nothing new. But TTIP is different. At the moment, if a private provider falls short of our requirements, we can get rid of them. If we want to make changes, we can. It's still our NHS. But under TTIP, the will of British voters and the health of British people can be pushed aside by private companies and corporate lawyers who could sue the government and even get the law changed in order to protect their billions of pounds of profit. In Australia, the American cigarette manufacturer, Philip Morris, is suing the government for bringing in plain cigarette packet legislation. Clearly, the company thinks less people will buy their products as a result. Now, don't forget, if a company sues a government, it is taxpayers' money they get. Money that could be spent on better services, going into fat cat pockets. That is what the EU wants us to sign up to. Now, in my time as health spokesman, UKIP's health policy has developed into the most anti-privatisation policy of all the main parties. And I am adamant the NHS does not need foreign investment, not from any country, but particularly not from a country where it is easier to get a gun than decent medical treatment. The government need to listen to the public, not 
the pen pushers. The NHS is about nurses, not purses. It's about bedsheets, ladies and gentlemen, not spreadsheets. <laughs> now, now, Cameron says that the NHS is in no danger from TTIP and therefore no specific protections need to be written into the agreement. Well, Mr Cameron, don't be surprised that the public, the trade unions, the health workers, the NHS managers and I need more concrete reassurances. Despite any disagreements in other areas, we are all united in our complete lack of trust in you. We need to see it in writing because to us, your word means absolutely nothing. Yeah. Now, Jeremy Corbyn's Labour Party has done nothing to stop TTIP. Corbyn signing anti-TTIP petitions in order to protect the NHS is disingenuous. If the Labour Party intend to campaign to remain within the EU, they have already stated that they will be members of the Remain camp, regardless of TTIP or immigration or the refugee crisis. So they are hardly the party of the NHS they always claim to be. If they are prepared to have an open door policy to all immigrants, regardless of the risks, they are hardly going to worry about opening the door to US companies wanting to buy our NHS. If the NHS becomes about profit, it will lose credibility in the eyes of the British people and that will not help the health of anyone in Britain. How many people would feel as happy to give blood if they thought they were literally being used as a cash cow? How many communities would continue to raise funds to buy medical equipment for their local hospital if the main beneficiary was an American health corporation? The idea that the NHS is part of the community will disappear overnight. If the NHS has to say hello to dollars, it's going to have to say goodbye to donors. So, it, so it's time. It's time for the British people to make a decision. In the upcoming referendum, there is no status quo option. We either go towards further EU integration and accept that the NHS will be part of TTIP, or we leave the EU and we protect it. Those that feel that they are pro-EU should consider if they prefer the EU or the NHS, because you know what? We can't have both. <laughs> and that is clear, ladies and gentlemen, uh, by the unelected commissioners refusing to meet the public's concern regarding TTIP. Everyone in the UK needs to ask themselves if they are pro-EU or pro-NHS. If, like me, you love the NHS and what it stands for, if, like me, you rely on it being there for the health of yourself and your families, then, like me, you think that the NHS should remain focused on providing better, better medical aid, not better transatlantic trade. So, my message, ladies and gentlemen, is clear. UKIP's message is clear. Believe in the NHS, lead the EU, let's all work together to protect this institution that we all care so much about. Let's not hand it over to faceless institutions in Brussels and more importantly, let's not hand it over to corporations in the United States of America. Let's vote to leave the EU. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.